Hey everyone, welcome back. Yeah, today uh, I am going to talk about language and uh, the way you think. Basically, most of time we use language to think. When we are thinking, if we do some conscious thinking, conscious thinking, we will heavily. I mean, most of us are using our languages, our mother tongue or other languages that we learn to perform our our thinking, conscious thinking. And definitely, there are some time you don't really think with languages. I will call that unconscious thinking. It if you. Ever read the book Thinking Fast and and Thinking Fast and Slow?、Uh, we call that kind of System One. And、uh, if you perform some System Two task, most likely you will use a language to organize your thought to process everything. So I would really say I would really say language is not only the way to communicate with other people; it's also the way to communicate with yourself. Like letting your your brain to communicate with each other. I think maybe some different function, different parts of your brain that communicate with each other. Or it's actually very hard to formulate that. But they definitely, it definitely require a language to really think things clearly, consciously. So, uh, what what does this, uh? Related relate to learning a language, so basically, because the 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 way you think kind of influenced by the la- language you speak, and every ling- language they it's a little bit different from each other. It's definitely not like fundamentally different, but there are certain like details are different. So if your mother tongue is Japanese and you. S- You probably will think in more Japanese way, because the language you learn kind of shapes、uh, shapes the way you think a little bit. And when you learn a new language, maybe English, then you would like to use Japanese way of thinking to speak English. So they will just end up、um, generating some kind of a. Some of your you the thing you want to say you the the idea you want to express is. More formalized in Japanese, and you don't really know how to express in English because it's simply it doesn't those kind of words doesn't exist in in English. There are a lot of、uh, phrases or the way of thinking in in Japanese. It just doesn't you know they just don't exist in in English. So they will make you harder to really talk. So how how can you really be more fluent in, in English? Basically, you need to change the way you think a little bit when you speak in in, in English. I know that sounds very abstract, but it's actually doable.、Uh, for example, sometimes you maybe want to say something, and、um, it's just、uh, now the English people will say now the、uh, native native English speakers will say. So at this time, at this moment in time, you need to change it. You need to go a little bit.、Uh, let's say. This is kind of a more every abstract. The the higher the duration is, the more abstract. And、uh, if you want to say something, you usually、uh, want to say in very detailed way. But maybe in this kind of detailed branch, you just、uh, cannot you cannot find any link to English like expression. So you you probably won't be able to really say those concept, those kind of、uh, fine grain concept in English. So. What can you do? One thing you can do is you go back to one abstract level, and to find a common ground、uh, that exists in English and the、uh, Japanese. So you can use the more abstract concept to kind of express your thoughts. You may not be perfect, but you still like kind of、uh, be able will be able to articulate yourself. So this is kind of a trick. I think that's very important. It's not always you need to express your thoughts in very 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 Detail and、uh, accurate way. You can just go a little bit abstract, one level abstract. Then you will be fine. So this is kind of my trick and kind of my suggestion for you. If when you learn a new language, so yeah, that's all for today. And、uh, if you like receive these kind of videos, 
in the future. And yes, just uh, hit the subscribe button. And uh, I will see you next time.